What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of sailing and uh, yeah, getting slightly closer to our goal of 80,000 C coins and once we hit that we're going to buy our cons heart. So yeah, we're going to be doing Hakovin today. We're going to do a double run. Oh, actually four books right here. Oh. Four books and another 200 coins. That's good. Usually I'm not really sure if it's worth taking like the 50-ish coins that are like these things. But as I get closer to my goal, that's kind of when I've been uh, more or less picking them up. But on the like average side of it, I usually skip them. And only, I'll only do it if they're, like, right there. Otherwise, I'm not really going out of my way to do it. Um, so, while we're here, let's see. We're going to need a, a white leaf, a painting, a blue quartz, and flowers. This quartz... Painting, flower. Um, so we're going to be doing a double run. And what that means is we go there, get the thing, refresh, and then do it again. Uh, we're missing something, aren't we? I have a feeling we're missing something. Uh... Something seems off. Usually, I would... Oh, I'm missing a potion. But I don't actually have that. So... Guess we'll take another one of these. Let me just check. Are there any potion barters in this one? Nope. All right, we're good. Next time I see it, I actually do have to get it then. But yeah, still working on a few goals. Uh, I think tomorrow is when I unlock um, my second week of the Zarka Hadoom quest thingy. And so we'll be doing that tomorrow. I think I could get a group together and we'll see what happens. But um, in terms of other progress I've been making, we're getting slightly closer to our goal of uh, 9 billion silver. And honestly, I think I'm just, I'm going to buy whatever Garmoth's art I can get. Like if I can get this inverted one cheaper than the regular one, sure, why not? But yep, we have about... 6.8 right now we got 5.5 .5 in here and then we got the costume that I am pretty sure I'm not gonna get and then the cup of the lone tide I've been slowly grinding for it but if I don't get it I don't get it and then whatever I'll just keep an order on it whichever gets first uh, either this fills first order fills or I get like 8 billion and then cancel the order Is actually this costume I wanted. Man, dude, they, to get orders or just selling, but the numbers keep going up. So maybe I'll get lucky and win, <laughs> win the order so I don't have to spend like $35 on it. I want the outfit. But yeah, those are my goals so far. Um, just uh, either Garmoth's heart, then Khan's heart. Getting close to 80,000 coins. I'm pretty sure, like, if I wanted to, I could probably get it, like, tomorrow-ish. Um, all I'd have to do is barter everything, and then... If I really wanted to, I could actually just sell these and... Probably make a good chunk of coins just by selling these but you really shouldn't sell these artifacts or the brilliance 
Like, these are all things that are go towards your Carrick. So, I would not recommend selling them, especially because the rates are so low. So, yeah, I'm not, like, in a rush to get the Consart. I just get it when I get it. Oh yeah, also, apparently right now, what's going on is a event for training in Mount XP, which is kind of funny because I, I got my uh, mythical tier 10 right before it and then they have a horse event, which is kind of shocking because, um, man, if I knew that, I would have waited, but I don't, no regrets, I have it. But yeah, good luck to everyone out there going for your tier 10 horse uh i should probably actually go training not really for anything just to level up my training ability can you see life skills on this character oh, you can see crystals now that's cool dude but yeah thinking about getting all that stuff, but we need another 3 billion silver. I mean, I could probably get it if I wanted to. All I'd have to do is sell my Libra's gloves and I got it, but I don't know. I feel like the Libra's glove is it going it's going up in price, but at the same time you never know when it's going to drop down, so I've been thinking about selling it but at the same time, I don't know. Maybe evasion will be good again. Well, I mean, not not again. It is really good right now. Just uh, maybe it'll be better for Dark Knight in the future. Somehow. Or I'll just put it on another class. And instead of tagging, I only tag weapons and I'll just have spare gear. So I could play on both my main and... Well, a class that has evasion, that would be ideal. I heard there's a panic, and I don't know why, but people are... In the past, like, day and a half, bought about 200,000 Capra stones. It only really takes about like two rich people, like real, real rich people in the game to just buy out a Capris market. And for example, it's like instead of them saying, oh, I don't want this uh, pen distortion earring for 120 billion silver. And they just said, screw it, they want uh, Capris 20 in their armors. It's really all it takes, two people to clean out the market. But yeah, there's uh, quite a lot of stuff happening right now. Whoa, why are these at like an all-time high? I usually use them. With 50 energy, you can make a lot more than 10 million silver, but sometimes I'm just lazy. Why are there two trade boats? I 
75,000 coins. 5,000 more. Let's see. Is it worth going to Margoria today? Probably not. Let's see. If I were to go back from here and not do a double barter, but let's say I wanted to do Margoria, how many coins would I get? Uh, 450, 500, 700, 830. Is 830 worth going or spending about 30 minutes in Margoria for? Uh, I mean, I guess if you need it, yeah, but <laughs> I don't know. Assuming I get like 2,000 coins a day. And assuming this next barter is not complete trash. Could probably end with... Uh... Did I hit that barter? Okay, I did. Let's see. I'll be at maybe... 40, or 76,000 if I get a good barter or a good Hakovin on the way back. And that one plus another maybe like 800 if I go to Margoria. So for reset tonight, maybe I'll end up with um, roughly 76,000 and a half. And then I could like that would involve me going to Margoria twice tomorrow and doing Hakovins if I want to get 80. How much do I care? Or we could just say screw it and we'll get it on Friday. Oh yeah, it's also gonna cost me, like even once I get the Khan's Heart, like concentrated magic, I still have to make it. So I need like, what, 400 of these? How much is that? Oh my God, that's 300 mil. How much would it? Yeah. And then I think I got to buy like another 220 mil worth of uh, black magic crystals for two. Wait, I need 220, right? Or no, 200 magical shards. I have 89, so I need. 111 Um that's about 200 and 50ish mil plus Two fifty mil plus three hundred six hundred mil for that. Uh, it's not that I can't afford it, it's just that I don't want to be set back for Garmoth Heart or yeah. Well, oh, something sold. Uh oh.
But I think it is actually higher priority for me to uh, get a Garmoth's art over Khan. I mean, ultimately, it's not really that hard to get like 600 mil. Let's see. Yeah, just go, uh. Just go grind to Doom for like two hours, and that's 600 mil easy. Oh, yeah, one other thing that's gonna happen soon is I'm at 49 out of 50, and then at 50, we get the gold, uh, gold box and. Assuming the very worst, I think I get like uh, 200 mil. Wait, is it? It doesn't do one, right? It goes by two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's uh, 200, 400, 600, 800, or 1 billion silver per box. So at very minimum, that's 400 million silver tomorrow, I believe. Assuming I get not complete trash luck and can finish this board tonight or tomorrow after reset. That's 400 mil more. Dude, we're doing some like deep math and just calculator all of this, but it's not the same, all right? So yeah, if I pull out money from these orders, that's 6.8, 7 bill tomorrow, assuming I finish the uh, Black Spirit thing and just go grind a little bit. I'm not doing another barter tonight, so I figured I'll just go early. I saw a good number. Oh, we got a decent one today, boys. Honestly, anything above like 200 for Hakovin, I'll usually do it. Generally, it's worth doing above 150. But, hey. Eh? Ooh, 123, that's value. 86, 96, uh, less value. Oh wait, hold on, what do we need here? Um, fabric, herb, and scale. I knew we put that there for a reason. Wait, hold on. How many is this one? 86? Yeah, we could skip it, dude. We'll wait for that one to be like a, a big one to get it. Let's see, what are some other good ones to do today? Um, one to three, that's pretty good. I really should start picking up these brilliance in case I want to make another uh, Carrick. And then we'll put it at like Achilles Eye just to do dailies and or leave it at Hakobin just to barter. Um. A double brilliant today. That's pretty good. How much would I get for going to Margoria? One ninety, three eighty. We're skipping fifty nine, three eighty. 500, 580, 6 something. I think that's less than last time. That's a yikes, dude. Yeah, I don't. 
I don't care enough to go to Margoria for that. What are some easy things we can get on the way? Uh, ooh, there is not much on this side. Four candles? Do we have four candles? We have four candles. Oh, I'm not about to go down there just for... Do we need scales? Kinda. Do we need... Chess, lava, or spears? No. 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 It doesn't hurt to get him, I just don't need it. The fact that offens are like 10 billion is a little bit concerning. I know over the past like two years, I've always said that, well, I guess this goes for all class, or like not all classes, but most classes. Often is usually the worst choice you can pick because at this point you either want accuracy or if you're only a grinder, then you want Black Star. That's there's no question. For PVE, Black Star the way to go. PVP, well, if you have a pen Black Star, you don't get anything else. You have a pen Black Star. You use that one. It, I don't care if Zarka is 0.01% better for PVP. You stay with the pen Black Star. But for the rest of us, you don't have it. Zarka is uh, not a bad choice. Let's see what other things are there. So yeah, you should probably. I've always like I've had this stance on often. If you can get to 261 or 269 with Zarka, then you that's when you make the swap. But up until that point of like 269, if you're using often, it's probably okay-ish. Um, but once you can hit the 269 bracket with the Zarka, that's when you make the switch. Because at that point, you're going into the end game, um, and you're going to start fighting people who are beyond geared, and accuracy, believe it or not, is a very strong stat. I know it doesn't put numbers on your sheet, like, I don't know, what it, accuracy, this is why people have, people who have Turo belts have lower AP and AP, but they will probably hit harder because of their accuracy bonus. So this is why I think people make a big deal of gear score and it's like such an irrelevant thing. Gear score is more just like a flex number, but in terms of actual like if you're good or not, accuracy is a strong stat and it's definitely something to look into. But at the same time, I also like building HP on a dark night. So what do I know, I guess? I also actually do like Evasion Dark Knight more than VR. Imagine having a pen Monos Riding Crop. You either hit that on accident or you really like horse training. I only know one person that really likes horse training. And they're what, like... I don't know. 
probably close to Guru at this point because that's literally all they do in this game. Uh, let's see, what else is on the volatile price list? Dragon Slayers are a meme. If you make it, you're making it for an alt. And even then, Oasis gear is free for now. So, Dragon Slayer is a meme. For all those people who are like, oh, it's so easy to enhance. No, dude, memory fragments are still a thing. You repair them with like the black residue, I believe, but that involves grinding to get that. And like, if you're grinding, I don't know, blood wolves, you're making what, maybe 40 mil an hour, or you can grind to doom and make 300 mil an hour. And it's kind of like losing money. <laughs> so basically what I'm trying to say is don't go for Dragon Slayer in 2021 or Maybe if they buff it one day, who knows, but as of right now, it is not worth getting. Five hundred more Barda, still ten thousand, that's cool. centaur belt you know at one point I unironically thought about getting this and making a DR like DR meme build full like evasion and DP going centaur belt cadre rings uh, what is the other one Revived River Necklace. Back in the day, it was like uh, the Bencho Neck, but Bencho or Sissel, the hybrid versus full DR. But this one is the new best in the slot. If you assuming you can hit Tether Pen. And then earrings. I'm not really sure what the DR earrings are. I never really got that far into thinking it. Oh, ethereal. Yeah. Apparently the popular. I think ethereal earrings drop from either Pirate Island, the higher end one. Let me go look at it. Whereas Dawn earrings drop from the ones down in Calpheon. These are like the same thing, dude. I've gotten this a total of one time. Dude, Olin's is such a scary area. I should probably grind Thornwood for the uh, lung one day. One day I'll get the potion pieces. Dude, I've been trying to grind this Tashira Runes one for so long, it's just not happening. And that one too. And that one, but, you know.
Yeah, Pirate Island. All of these are pretty good. You actually need blue coral earrings for like one of those adventure log books. You need to get it to try, which is kind of stupid. I hate it so much. They make it, they put it into like the worst areas to get. That's why no one, that's why it's so expensive. It's not that people use it. It's just you need it for a quest item that gives like HP. Claw piece is good. Uh, DR earrings, pretty good. And all of this stuff. Don't really know what these are for, but sure. Alright, so we made it back. Hopefully we, you guys had a fun chat. Um, now you guys know my goals for the next like week or two. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a quick like on the video. I will see you guys tomorrow.